Wow, that was exciting! Hey, I'm the Got Game Gator, and in this video, I'll share with you how to play my favorite card game, Power Switch. Power Switch comes with 48 color cards, 12 blue, 12 green, 12 red, and 12 yellow. Three shock play cards, six Power Switch cards, and two dice. At the start of the game, each player is given one Power Switch card. Now players place this card face up in front of them. These cards are never a part of the deck. This card is a real game changer. Creating the deck. The dealer shuffles the 48 color cards and adds the correct number of shock play cards. For two players, you add one. For three to four players, add two. For five to six players, add three. This is the playing deck. First, the dealer deals cards equal to the number of players face down within reach of all players. This is the generator pile. For example, if you have four players, the dealer deals four cards into the generator pile. After the generator pile is created, the dealer deals the rest of the cards to the players one at a time clockwise and face down. Players organize their cards sequentially and by color, hiding them from the other players. Following the deal, the dealer rolls the dice to determine the power card for that round. The power card determines where play starts each round. For example, if a dealer rolls an 8 on the number die and a red on the color die, the power card for that round is the red 8. Gameplay starts with this card and red is the power tower that round. If the dealer rolls a D or L instead of a color lightning bolt, the D, dealer, or L, loser, chooses the color. For example, the dealer rolls a 12 and a D and the dealer chooses yellow, then yellow 12 is the power card. If the dealer rolls an L, the player with the highest score, the loser at that time, gets to choose the color. The player with the power card says, I have the power, and places the power card horizontally and face up on the playing area. If no one has the power card, then the player to the dealer's left draws from the generator pile. This action keeps moving clockwise to each player until the power card is drawn and can be played. Place the dice on the top of the power card as a reminder of the power card that round. The player to the left of the player who played the power card goes next. This player has two options. Option 1, build the power tower by playing the card the same color as the power card one number lower or one number higher. Option 2, build the supporting power lines by playing the same number card as the power card but in a different color. If a player doesn't have a playable card, they draw one card from the generator pile. If they can't make a play, the next player to the left takes a turn. After all the cards from the generator pile are drawn, players who cannot make a play must now ask the player to their right for a card. This is a great opportunity for that player to get rid of their worst card. Remember, a card cannot be played on a different color power line unless it's been played on the power tower first. As the game proceeds, you'll be building one leading power tower and three other color power lines. The power tower leads play for the other color power lines during the round. Play continues during the round by building the power tower and the other color power lines until the first player plays their last card. Again, the power tower leads the play. If a card hasn't been played on the power tower, it can't be played on the other power lines. Let's not forget about the shock play cards. These are like wild cards and can be played in place of any numbered card except the starting power card or the other color cards with the same number as the power card. Each player gets one power switch card per game. These cards enable a player with a high point total in their hand to switch hands with another player. Once a player uses a power switch card, the other players are blocked from using their power switch card that round. A good switch results in the player that made the switch playing the card and going out. If a play cannot be made after a switch, play continues clockwise as usual until someone plays their last card ending the round. A round ends when a player plays their last card. The other players count the points in their hand as follows. Cards 1 through 6 equal 5 points. Cards 7 through 12 equal 10 points. Cards replaced by the shock play card equal 50 points. When a player's score reaches 300 points, the game is over. If you want a shorter game, play to 100 points, and for longer games, play to 500 points. 
the player with the lowest point total at the end of the game earns the coveted award of being called the Power Player! Now, you're ready to switch on the fun!